The participants were asked to think of their favorite teacher from elementary school and to rate her on the 20 evaluative dimensions. So I think the problem, of course, is here with her, and we would want to say her or him, because the teacher may not have been female, it may have been male. The experimenter can decide when he should provide the debriefing. The experimenter can decide when to provide the debriefing. So here we eliminate the need to have the pronoun. That's a really good way to do that. Typically, the department chairman must give his approval for each trainee ship that is awarded. I think you can see that there, right? Typically, the department chair must give approval. So here we just skip the pronoun totally. The effects of social stimuli on eating have been investigated in the rat, monkey, and man. The effects of social stimuli on eating have been investigated in the rat, monkey, and human, because here we're using the species, right? The participants were 20 male students and 20 co-eds. The participants were 20 male students and 20 female students. Because you use male here, you want to use the same gender word here, which would be female. Each response was rated by a group of men and a group of females. Each response is rated by a group of men and a group of women, right? Because we want to keep it the same. The participants were given descriptions of 12 men and their wives and asked to predict the number of years each marriage would endure. The correct sentence is the participants were given descriptions of 12 pairs of husbands and wives, because here you're saying men and their wives, as if wives and men are somehow something that goes together, when actually what we mean is husbands and wives. So here we either say men and women, or we say husbands and wives. The psychological test battery was given to gay men and women and to normal men and women to determine whether there would be a relation between childhood sexual abuse and sexual identity. The correct sentence is the psychological test battery was given to gay men and lesbians. So because we're using this phrase gay men, the equivalent for women is lesbians and to heterosexual men instead of normal men and women. So what we've done here is we've just made it equivalent. This group is labeled gay men, and this group of females who are homosexual is labeled le lesbians. How do you know that? Well, you need to check what is the normal terminology used for this. And then, of course, if you're going to use that term, which is classifying people based on their sexual preference, then heterosexual would be the word to use, not saying normal, because we don't know what the normal actually is, right? Or abnormal, that doesn't make sense here. The expert judges classified the callers as Negro, Caucasians, Caucasian, or Oriental, on the basis of voice characteristics. The researchers then determined the proportion of callers in each group who were urged to seek an abortion. The correct way to write this would be the expert judges classify callers as black, white, or Asian. Actually, this should have a comma here. Black, white, or Asian on the basis of voice characteristics. So what's the difference? Here we're using this word Negro, which is not a preferred word these days. Caucasian, white, which is not a preferred word these days. Oriental, which is not a preferred word. So these words were used commonly at one time, but in the last decades, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, these have fallen out of favor and are quite insulting. So how do you know this? Again, you need to check, look what's commonly used these days and be very careful about reading books 
for uh, papers from decades ago that may have this wrong because times change. An attempt was made to compare Indians, Indians who have been raised on reservations with Indians who have been raised in cities. The correct way to write this would be an attempt was made to compare Native Americans. So in this case we're talking about not India but rather the natives of the United States, America, North America. So here we use the very specific term. Always being specific is better than general. American children from Los Angeles and confident children from Moscow were compared in terms of moral development and socialization. American children from Los Angeles and Russian children from Moscow. So because here we're saying American children from LA, American children from Los Angeles, then we should also say Russian children from Moscow instead of confident children. This is making it, uh, making some kind of judgment, making some kind of value of that, which is kind of weird. Okay, so that is our list of examples. Really boring, right? But you can really learn a lot from looking at examples, and I encourage you to follow up on those, give yourself a little bit of practice, and then adapt that to your research writing. Thank you.